Shalom, shalom. This is Kaparya, a.k.a. Pops, out of GM at Chicago, with another sit-down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York. I want to send double honors because they do rule well. For the brethren around the world, pushing this truth on God, I feel to carry the good, the bad, and the ugly, the scriptures correctly, breaking down prophecies and interaction with people and planet. I send salutations. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying. Aqua, few and true, this list of society and charity keep doing so. But for scorn and scoffing, reprobate too, there is a light since 17 other nations. You're in the midst of Jacob's trouble, and it is going to get a whole lot worse. And Nicki Minaj is definitely part of the two-thirds with the music and the imagery and everything that she portrays you know uh, uh what they say a thought uh, uh, a skank all those other things that she's got our black women or i should say our black not our black but got our israelite women following this shit you know what i'm saying that is a a travesty that you know they follow her and and, and, and think uh thoughtism it is a way to go now to just make money okay because this woman has talked about you know uh setting people up you know uh when she was a stripper you know uh uh, uh getting men drunk or drugged or whatever combination it might be and her going back to the room her and some trans trans uh, vestites and things of this nature and tan niggas off so and, and then said it was just part of a hustle to come up to put our money together to try to get our record squared away so having said all that why would you think that something along this lines couldn't happen so I'm going to let this play and I'm going to put some scriptures behind it Okay, so you don't put all this out there like that, done, did all these things, and then think that there's not going to be anything that's going to come behind it. Apostle Tahar says it all the time when he talks about, you know, certain people when he get pissed off and truly mad and upset and frustrated and, and goes in talking about, you know, you know, what the most high I'll do and uh, all these things, you know, and it boils down to this. Uh, you know, you, you put all this out there, out there and then think that you don't have anything coming to you as a, as a two-third, you're wrong. So let me find some scriptures and prove that. Okay, so let me get this scripture for you. Uh, Okay, I got this scripture. This is Deuteronomy 21 and 18. Okay. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son or female, which will not obey the voice of his father or her father or the voice of his mother or her mother, and that when they have chastened him will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of the city and unto the gate of his place. And they, sh and they shall say unto the elders of the city, This son or daughter is stubborn and rebellious. He or she will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Well, she said she was a stripper. She talked about drugs and everything else that she was using to get at these men. All right? Transsexuals, the whole lick. Okay? 21. And all the men of the city shall stone him or her with stones that he dies. So shalt thou put evil away from among you, and shall Israel, and all Israel shall hear in fear. 
there's no fear. Okay? And, and, and even though um, the scenario and the situation being what it is, um, the parents being of her, I'm sure that they didn't approve of her lifestyle getting up to that point. Now, once money does what it does and this, that, and other and all this other kind of shit, then yeah, they probably changed their whole damn tune. You know, as they say, uh, uh, a gift destroy of the heart. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she started buying them shit and this, that, and other. But, but before that, running this lifestyle, cause you don't just go grown and then all of a sudden decide you're going to be that buck wild and that rebellious and this, that, and other. She was a fast-ass child. They grew them into a fast-ass teenager. They turned into a buck wild-ass adult, okay? And, 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 and all these things have been brought to her, okay, in the process. So between that and all these things, okay, whether or not it was a, a, a left-hand side Illuminati sacrifice or if it was just a vengeance of Yahweh which would still be that okay you know as 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 Apostle Taha be saying you know he used to say that all the time especially when he get upset with Nate and the shit that he's preaching and the bullshit that he's pushing he said he gonna kill your family he gonna kill family members first you know hit home so she just had a just had a child a year ago and now she lost a dad Okay, among other things. Okay, so like I said, this isn't just by coincidence. You know, you, you, you strip things away first that's important or dear to a person first. Then you twist, then you twist them up. Okay, and, and even though he was struck, he, if, he's, if he's slated, uh, in which he probably is slated for, for nuclear destruction, he's going to deal with the second death. Okay, the second death, where people are gonna come back and, and, and stand on their feet and be ready for that death that's coming down the pipe. You know, they gotta do the gnashing of teeth. Let me go get the next scripture. Okay, so this next scripture is going to be uh, Sirach 20, what? Uh, 25, 25th verse, and uh, I'm trying to think. Where is it at? 25 and 25. That's what it is. 25 and 25. I, think. I believe that's 25 and 25. Yeah. So, Mark 25 and 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. See what I'm saying? So, I mean, she went out there and became this person and did all these things. But, you know, the truth of the matter is just that. You know, like I said, where were their parents at? Where was her parents at? You know, seeing this shit, dealing with this shit and breaking this shit and getting this out of her. Where was the where was the ass whoopings and things that needed to be put in place to keep her from going out and doing those things and thinking that she was going to be able to get away with all that shit? You know, these types of things. You know, so, like I said, so now that this has happened, now they want to talk about her dad being ran down. Like I said, we don't know if that's left-hand side uh, and the blood sacrifice that she that she succumbed to because, like I said, you see she's doing anything and everything else in the process to, to, to live that lifestyle. So who's to say that the dad wasn't a sacrifice? The same way when, when uh, Michael Jordan pops got popped off and this, that, and the other. You never know what, what these people are willing to do but we know they willing to go to extremes for this lifestyle that they think is here because of the fact that they stuck in this society and they in Isaiah 30 and 31 they not dealing with either one of those they ain't trying to come out of the mindset they trying to go deeper in down the rabbit hole and shit and deal with this shit so the destruction that's coming going to be coming to them is it, it, justified as it says, righteous indignation is what Yahweh Bashim and Hashem is going to start putting out here to them. So it is what it is. So with that, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shav, Bashim, and Kakwadash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York. Again, double honors because they do real well. And for the brethren around there 
out here pushing this word on cut on filter giving you the good the bad and the ugly of the scriptures correctly breaking them down and the interaction with people and planet you know what i'm saying and the elect and uh Aqua, the few and the truth are still listening to you. all you all. I sent out a hearty shallow warm before these two thirds and these 17 other nations that want to be hooked to this either white's kingdom and whatnot. Whatever punishment coming down the, down the pipe in the form of Jacob's trouble, it's only going to get worse. So, with that, shallow warm to the first group and a barber ball to the second.